you too. What did they do? It is your boy. Low key. No one to cut you down, know saying coming back at y'all with another video, as y'all can see by the title, man. Man, I have no reason getting hype right now. As y'all can see by the title today. I'm gonna be talking about rhythm and flow. Pretty much this is gonna be one of those motivational talks because, uh, man, I just gotta, just gotta air it out, man. Just gotta really let y'all know what's going on. But before I get into the topic, if you're new to the channel, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't be dumb as hell. Click that bell, turn on post notifications so you get notified every single video hey man let's get straight to it all right sometimes in life we're gonna feel disoriented like it's just gonna happen a lot of times it's gonna happen post high school graduation you know what i mean like you just graduated you know you spent all your years in high school and now it's like you know it's on to the real world it's like what are you gonna do are you gonna go to college are you gonna pursue different endeavors it's like who knows, you know what I mean? Sometimes you might have a slight idea, sometimes your ideas or whatever you like, it might change along the way too. Honestly, in my opinion, I feel like it's a lot to put the pressure on 17, 18 year olds, even 19 year olds to figure out exactly what they want in their life because I feel like in life, sometimes we have to just really understand the subject and really kind of go through things to understand. And that's kind of where I'm coming from with um, the topic of rhythm and flow. Sometimes when you're feeling very disoriented, like you just don't know which direction to go to, you know what I'm saying, like you're feeling lost, sometimes you're gonna get to that point where you might need to fall back, you know what I'm saying? You might need to fall back, you might need to do some research, you might need to experience different things. Everyone's journey and everyone's discovery towards knowing what they want is different. No one can force things on you. People can put you on game, but it's all depending on you. Are you interested? Are you willing to do what it takes? And once you get to that point, it's like, cause unless it's like a basic skill, actually, I don't even know. I feel like really regardless of the fact, not even just with careers and skills, even just within your life, if you're trying to work on self-improvement, trying to get better at anything, sometimes we need to go with the flow. Not go with the flow, like go with the flow with everyone else, but you need to enter a flow state with the things that you do. And a lot of times certain shifts in your life aren't going to be immediate. You're going to have to adapt into the change, adapt into the progression, but it's not going to be immediate. It might not happen on your timing, but it's going to happen. And it's just very important that you understand that rhythm of what you need to do in order to flow correctly. So a lot of times you might have to do something that other people may not understand or embark on something you've never done. It's it's tough to get into new things, you know what I'm saying? Like Especially if you've grown up a certain way with a certain system and routines of things and just to suddenly, you know, do a whole 360 you know with your lifestyle change and like what you need to do or even in a career sense like the skills you need to learn the time you need to put in it's very important to go with the flow uh, i feel like saying that term is bad because it's not good to go with the flow as far as like just vicariously doing things but you need to understand your own individual flow and a lot of times people aren't going to understand where you're coming from with that because a lot of people live life vicariously, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with that, but are you at the top of the game with all the things you do? Rhythm and flow is very important because everything you do, man, if you're gonna work out, man, you need to work out day to day. It may not be as intense, but you need to keep that consistency. That's where the rhythm comes in. Adapt, adaptability. What the fuck? Why? Adaptation. As long as you can get your mind and your body used to doing the task, eventually it will flow correctly. It's very crucial that we all find the time within ourselves to find our rhythm and really try to execute the things that we want in this life. And 
especially if you want something outside the norm or if you want something, you know, within the, you know, the content entrepreneurial side of things, you know what I'm saying? You know, working for yourself, clothing brand or whatever the case may be. Or something like, I don't know, maybe like a bank teller or whatever. Like, it doesn't matter the profession or the thing. It's just like, sometimes you may live a lifestyle where you're just hanging out all the time. You're always, you know, doing this, that, and the third. And it doesn't mean that none of that has to stop. But you need to get into the rhythm of the disciplinary actions that you need in order to build the skill, to get your foot in the door in that profession, and to grow like you know to improve on the aspects of your body your mind your dialect like whatever the case may be and it takes a while to adapt into new things especially if you've been so programmed to doing you know what i'm saying the bare minimum you know like lethargic acts you know it, it takes time but you need to go with the rhythm a lot of times people are going to try to disrupt your flow and it depends where you are mentally because, you know, sometimes you can balance, you know, people can multitask. Some people don't feel as bothered when obstacles go in the way. But if you get to a point where you ever feel overstimulated, I do suggest falling back, you know, like take time to yourself. Really, I would even say take a week to just do that task. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if you always like procrastinate or whatever, just kind of give yourself the space to be like, you know what, I'm going to do this. I don't care if I do this all the way at 11 p.m., whatever. One way or another, before I go to sleep, I got to do this task. And then when you do it, you start to realize over time, like, it's not that hard. You do it day by day. And then you're like, you know what, this is kind of easy. Let me do a little bit more. Then you do a little, bit, a little bit more. You put more time into it within the day. You do it multiple times within the day. That's what I'm saying. You need to understand your rhythm. You need to go with the rhythm. And as you go with the rhythm, things will flow correctly. Uh, you just got to adapt. Because as humans, we we evolve. You know what I'm saying? We evolve as things go on. So, like, adaptation is one of the things that's very important as humans to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, adapting to different social adaptations, physical adaptations, mental adaptations. You know, it, it just keeps going. You know, you have to figure out the rhythm to your personal interests and just do what you need to do to improve those aspects of your life i just say this because a lot of times people will not understand what you need to do and like how you need to get into the rhythm of things but at the end of the day you need to do what you you need to do what's necessary to understand your own rhythm you know what i mean anytime you're lost for any of the people out here who are lost who, you know, you could say little stuff like, hey, I want to be a YouTuber. I want to make all these videos and subs. And granted, I understand, you know, life gets in the way a lot. And that, that's why a lot of times people have like their halting points and stuff. But when you can find that time or the little space within your day where you can make videos, you know, you need to find the rhythm. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you need to do little things so that you won't cause burnout. So instead of just like uploading a bunch of random uploads, like, you know, take some days, like, you know what I'm saying? Like when you have that hour, two hour, three hour gap within your day, just like plan videos, you know, rehearse, write scripts, you know what I'm saying? Like film videos that you don't post, review it, you know what I mean? And maybe even learn how to upload and because, you know, YouTube, you have a way where you can like schedule your uploads, like do that. Take time to like really make sure it works within your favor you know what i mean even with the youtube thing like you got to be ahead of the game with that too like especially with these big youtubers you think they'd be making these videos on the daily you can but this is where the whole getting ahead of the game thing comes because things come easier as it goes along but in the beginning yeah you're gonna probably have to crank out like 10 videos or 15 videos within the day or within the week and you got to keep a couple of them in the vault the ones that are more crucial or maybe more easier, like a reaction or something, you edit that, you drop it, you drop, you drop, drop, drop. And the other ones, you taking your sweet time, you understanding how to make the videos, how to make it funny, how to make it interesting, how to make people engage into your content. It's all about rhythm. I'm just saying this because, you know, I know a lot of us will feel like there's so much going on and it's hard to, you know, like you'll be in a rut and it's hard to understand, like, what do you really want? And sometimes... You're going to need that space. You know, sometimes you're going to need to fall back and just really think. And you have to go through the motions, man. You have to go through the motions of regret, upsetness, whatever the case may be. But you have to just keep going with flow.
And as long as you continue, man, it's just gonna be up. But at the end of the day, you gotta keep your rhythm. As as long as the rhythm goes, everything will flow correctly. But anyways, if y'all need more videos like this, let me know down in the comments below. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy Low Key. No one to cut you, they don't say. And we gone. If you were someone I should have messed with To be honest, I don't even know I just go with the flow Keeping up my hopes Don't regret what I did I'm so tired of all this shit We fell in love again How can I get away?